everybody, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I'm doing okay. Um, it's still morning here. I'm just working on my coffee. I am in my new house. Um, no, I have not done a studio tour yet because um, everything's not here yet and we don't have everything set up. So we're working on it. But I do have my art studio semi set up. I'm still waiting for more shelving and that kind of stuff. However, I wanted to work today on um, Explorations of Me, all right? And for this month's prompt, uh, the question is, is who is your hero and why? So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to the next page. That was last month. I'm just going to go to the next page. Now, I sat here and I thought about this for a long time, and I actually have a couple different heroes. And they, they have different reasons, um, but I'm going to hold that side down. Uh, I'm going to do both of them. I'm going to do both pages, one on each side, and I think that's going to work out. And the first thing I'm going to do is let's go ahead and get some layers on here. Let's get some paint, um, anything else we can. I've got so much stuff on my desk still, and it's... Anyways, all right, so let me go ahead. I'm going to fast forward through this part. We're going to get a background down, and then I will come back, and we'll talk about my heroes, and we'll talk about why they're my heroes. So I'll be back. So how was that for fun play? I just, I love playing. And that I could sit and do this all day long. Um, 
Let's see. What I want to talk to you about are my heroes. So, um, they're, these guys are both my heroes and for two separate reasons. Um, they're both very near and dear to me. Uh, the first one would be... Let me bring you guys in a little bit. There you go. Uh, this is my boy Jay. When he was little, little. He was so chubby. He was so just adorable. So this is my son Jay. This is when he got a little bit older. And this is him now. Um, he's actually a uh, poker dealer for a casino. Um, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. I am not going to go into too much depth um, on him as to what he's been battling. But let me just tell you, that boy has been battling a demon um, for so long. And I am so proud of him because he's come out on top. And, you know, it's been a long, long journey for him. Um, I just, I keep praying that everything stays status quo as it is right now. And, um, you know, if you do pray, put him in your thoughts and prayers just to stay strong. And that is my son, Jay. The other person in my life that is my hero, and this is my dad. My dad is a um, survivor of pancreatic cancer. Can you believe it? Um... He has had, oops, i got some scissors. I'm going to get that one here. I don't want to cut these a little funky. Um, he has had, uh, like I said, he's a survivor of pan pancreatic cancer. Um, he has had so many um, complications due to that that, um, and let me tell you, he has stayed st so strong during them all. Um, he's my hero. When it was first found out and when it was first discussed, um, I'll be honest with you, I was really scared of him having the surgery. They call it a Whipple surgery, and it's where they go in and they take out a portion of your stomach, and they take out, um, you know, part of the pancreas, and I mean, just there's a whole lot to it. And when they started talking about the surgery, there's only like a 5% um, survival rate. And I was terrified. I told Dad, absolutely not, don't do that. You know, let's see what we can do elsewise. And, and you know, ultimately he made the decision, and he made the decision to go ahead with the surgery. Um, and he did it. He did it, and he has come back strong. He's, um, like I said, a survivor, and it's just amazing. Now, my son has dealt with something, um, you know, as tough, if not a little bit tougher. I mean, my dad, thankfully, he's he's here and, and is in wonderful health and is, you know, doing really well. Um, my son has to fight this daily. He has... Um, an issue that he's got to stay on top of and it's some days are hard and I get it so um, you know these guys are my heroes they you know I, I did a lot of thinking about this and I thought hmm you know first I thought about um, my husband's grandparents because those two people they've now since passed but let me tell you grandma and grandpa Gemmel were two of the nicest people I have ever met in my life um, they showed me what the true sense of family is and they showed me, you know, um, just so much unconditional love and it was phenomenal. So, um, yeah. So I had a difficult decision going between them or, or, you know, my family and I chose my family. So, like I said, this is my dad, my dad Lloyd. Um, he's a good guy. He really is. Um, he's just a super sweet person. And he's always, he's always there. You know, he, he calls and checks up on me and, and, uh, you know, I love my daddy for that. He's a good man. But like I said, when he went in for that surgery, it terrified me. 
I thought for sure I was never going to see him again. So, you know, these guys are my heroes. Um, I hope you have heroes in your world, in your life, that will be able to, you know, inspire you for, to, for a page in the Explorations of Me. And, you know, it doesn't even have to be, um, you know, a, a physical human being. It could be, you know, a, a, you know, something that you, I don't know how to explain this. Something, let me think. If it's not a physical human being, maybe it's a story or, I don't know. It'd be interesting to look at your hero. You know, they say hero pretty much in this sense that it's got to be a person. So, okay. My heroes are peoples. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just jabbering. I'm in my room all by myself, chilling. So there's my daddy. And like I said, there's my boy. And I'm going to get these put down. Um, I'm going to grab my sticker maker because that'll be easier. I'll be right back. All right, so this is a Xyron. It's called a Creative Station. They come in a lot of different sizes. Um, this one, I think, is like the large. I know there's an even bigger one that's got really long um, places. Move these out of the way. All right, and I've shown you, you guys this before, but I'm going to show it again for anybody new. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pictures in here until it catches on the glue in the back and just turn it. And what it will do is it will make um, your photos into stickers. So I'm just going to, sometimes I get too close and I overlap them, but that's all right. A good glue stick will help that. All right, and what it does, see how it's pulling out the pictures? All right, get to the end and cut it off. Now, you can't, um, just pull this off and go to town. You've got to you've got to put some pressure on it. And what you're doing is you're basically basically adhering the glue to the back of your pictures. Okay. So you're putting this glue on the back of your pictures. Dad's picture got wrinkled. Oh well. Oh, it got wrinkled a couple times. All right. And then you just take your top layer off. This goes in the trash, or you can use it to do one of those bobble balls. I was watching Tammy Brackett last night, and she was doing these bobble balls, which was like a, a Jenny Belly-inspired thing. So, all right, so here it is. Now, this sheet that it's on, is got it's like a wax paper. It has a coating on it. So you can actually use that if you want to make um, yourself some, let's say you want to make yourself some glitter dots, okay? Take your glitter, drop it on this paper, let it dry, and it'll pop right off. So, that's just to let you know. All right, so let's take these pictures off here. I'm actually gonna, so I'm gonna do them separate. All right, so let's start with this one. Now, I did these on copy paper, so just be careful when you do them on copy paper that when you um, take them off, you don't rip your paper because this is quite um, sticky stuff. So just be really careful when you take them off. And see, it's just a sticker on the back now. He's probably going to kill me for bringing out those pictures, but I don't really care. <laughs> Sorry, Jay. Love you. <laughs> All right, and there he is. All right, and then my daddy. Oh, Daddy got wrinkled in a couple spots. How come he wrinkled, Dad? See, he wrinkled. That's all right. I love this picture of him. My dad's smiling. It's a great picture. This picture, I'm not sure what he was doing. I think we were eating. I think we were at a cafe down in um, Oneana called the Yellow Deli. I think is where we were at. All right, so now, now that I've got these guys on here, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some more of that gesso. And I 
I just want some clear spots to journal. So I'm going to take a little bit of this gesso and just find a few spots that I want to journal. So I'm going to journal right through here. And all I'm doing is just kind of whiten it out a little bit. Just so that when I journal, I have, um, you know, space to do it. Okay. And I'm going to do that on a few spots around the page. I probably won't journal in all these spots, but I just want to tone down that background just a little bit. Just to tone it down. Somebody's pinging me. Just tone it down a little bit. I'm not even really putting enough on to notice it, just, just a touch, maybe a touch more. And then I'm using this. This is actually a Simply Simon, or Simply, Simply Simmons half inch angle shader. And then what I do is I cut it down even more. So it's more like a scrubby brush for me. I love this brush. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's one of my go-tos whenever I'm you know, out of town or whatever, I make sure I have one of these with me, which I don't think I'll be out of town again for a while, but um, yeah, I always make sure I have one of these with me. I just love this, this, this brush. All right, so we got a couple spots. Let's do a little bit more, um, maybe down here. Let's just kind of tone that down a little bit. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love it. Just a little bit here and there. I like how the pattern came through from the back side. So yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to give this a good dry. I'm going to do a little bit in there first. Yeah, let's do a little bit in there. I'm going to give this a good dry, and then I'm going to do some journaling. Um, now, the journaling... Uh, you know, some of it's, eh, I can do personal in my personal journal. I'll do some journaling. All right. So let me dry this up real good. And I will be back. Sorry, guys. I just sat here playing around. I did a little bit of um, journaling for Dad. I'm going to do a little bit of journaling for Jay um, once I'm off. But right now I'm just playing with the My Heroes. Um, and, you know, like I said, these are My Heroes. I really hope you do a page and think about really who is your hero. Is it somebody in life? Is it somebody that's real in your life? Um, is it a super, you know, uh, what do you call it? A... Like in like a Superman or Batman or you know, is it who is it that is your hero, um, and why? You know, my heroes. The reason they're my heroes is because they have been dealt some not so good stuff, and they have come out. Um, they they have tackled it like a bull basically, and they're doing really. Well, and, and I wonder, had I had that, um, had been dealt this, what these two guys have had to deal with, you know, how would I have done? Um, you know, I have my own challenge. I have my, you know, my chronic pain, and, and I, I live with it. I have to deal with it, which is, you know, to me is no big deal. I mean, it is what it is, and, and there's nothing to change it. But, you know... It's it. Mine is so different from what these guys, in my opinion, is so different from what these guys have had to face. That, um, you know, mine's not life or death. Mine is life or no life, <laughs> for a better way to put it. And there's were life and death. And you know, for what they've been through and how they've handled that, it just amazes me. So, like I said, you know, take a minute to sit down and really think about who's a hero in your life. They don't, you know, they could be a past hero. Um, you know, like I said, my my husband's grandparents, they, they have both um, passed away. 
but um, when they were alive, they were just, just like I said, amazing, amazing people. So, you know, it could be somebody that's no longer with us. Um, or it could be somebody that's, you know, maybe it's your spouse. Maybe it's your one of your kids. Maybe it's your best friend or your best friend's mom or, you know, whoever. But think about who your heroes are and do a page, um, you know, for them. And I'll tell you, it's, it's actually humbling when you have to sit down and think about this. So... My pen is not happy right now because I've been writing on acrylic with it. So I'm just going to pick up another one. These are, um, this one is a Pen Gear Plus, I believe. Nope, this is a Staples. These are permanent markers, and uh, Mary Abrams actually turned me on to these. They, uh, she gets the ones, uh, I don't have one right here. Um, they're called Pen Plus Gear at Walmart, and they're only, um, 44 cents for two of them so if you're looking for them go buy like where the sharpies and the dry erase markers are and that kind of thing sorry my phone is pinging over here let me shut it off hold on um but they're two for 44 cents now these i bought in staples it's the same exact pen um but these were more expensive and then i bought these at the dollar store the other day and it's just a permanent marker and these work pretty much the same as these do these have a little finer tip than this does, but hey, it pretty much works the same. So, all right. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this page. It's very simple, short, sweet, and to the point. Um, I don't want, you know, I might do something around the page. I got to do something around here. Hang on. Hold on. Let me do, I'm going to do my journaling real quick. And then I'm going to do some fine liner work on this because I need to do something here. Hold on just a minute. Let me go ahead and do this. All right, now I did do a little bit of personal journaling on there, so I'm just going to cover that up for right now. We're going to cover that up for a second. All right, so let me grab some fine liner. Let's see, what do we want to do? Let's bring some of this yellow out here. Now, these are um, golden fluid acrylics. I just took my fluid acrylics because I don't use them out of the bottle. I stuck a bunch of them in these fine liners, and let me tell you, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. So let's just... Let's get our flow going here first. There we go. I just want to highlight my boy a little bit here. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do my dad. Yeah, let's do it yellow. Why not? I love these fine liners. They're so much fun to play with. Alright, so there's that one. Doo -doo. Let's grab, I'm going to grab just a pink here. Now I know I don't have any other pink on the page. This is actually uh, Quinacridone Magenta. So I'm just going to put a couple hearts and actually I'm going to put a heart right here. All right. I think that's it guys. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, don't forget to check out the other artists below in my description. Um, I have Ann Williamson rejoining me again this year, Gina Ahrens, and Leslie McGrath. So um, check them out and let's see who their heroes are. And I hope you guys really enjoy doing this and have fun. That's what life's all about. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will chat with you soon. Happy creating. Bye.